I've got the Chapman stick based loader back in, and in this video, we're going to look at how to customize these main page controls. Now, there are 11 custom controls available on this main page seven on the top row and four on the bottom one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and four on the bottom. The rest are the common controls. And we can have up to eight group name labels. Now, we see this is a group name label for mix, and here's one for compressor, even though there's only one control in it that's a group name label. And these can act either as just name or display only like this, or they can actually be on-off buttons. So there's different kinds of controls. We have these knobs, we have this kind of switch, and we have two different types of knobs, unipolar and bipolar. And then we have these group name labels that can be on-off switches as well. So there are three things we can do. We can assign any of these custom controls to almost any parameter in the Trillion interface. We can change the control types between these knobs and switches and we can arrange the controls into custom control groups. So these main page controls and group name labels are collectively referred to as custom controls, just to use the right language. So we're going to look at custom controls now. So to assign a control to a parameter, we need a control click or right click on it, and we'll get a pop-up menu. So right now, these are controlling some of the plugins on the effects page. So for example, if I go there, I'll see that this compressor is off and the echo is off as well. We can turn them on from there or from these buttons and control the parameters that are assigned to them. But let's say we weren't sure and we wanted to see what these knobs or parameters control. We can right click and go show all parameters assigned to this control. And they're showing us E1 vintage compressor, meaning that it's the first effect in this amp rack over here. And if we look at the echo, it should show E4 since that's the fourth one, show all parameters, E4 chorus echo. And same thing, we can click on the actual knob and that'll show us the same thing. We can also assign multiple parameters to be controlled by a single knob or one knob. We can also assign several knobs to control one parameter. So you can get to some complex routings. But let's reassign this. Let's say, for example, I want this to now control another plugin. I'm going to right click there and I'm going to go assign this control to next touched audio control. Now, being a switch, I want to have this control in on off where it's just alternating between two modes, on or off. So I'm going to go to the effects rack and I'm going to click the retro phaser. Okay, so now when I go back here, it's been renamed E2 Retrophaser, and I can click there and turn it on or off, or I can right-click and I can rename as well from here. If I want to give it a custom name, I can enter new name for group, and what I'm going to do is call it Phaser, just for the sake of renaming it. All right, let's hear what this sounds like. Let's hear it in context. Okay, I like that. So let's say I want to assign these knobs here to control some of the phaser parameters, and I want to make them all part of one group. So let's start reassigning them. I'm going to right click and choose assign this control to next touched audio control. I'll go in here and I'll adjust the rate parameter here. So I wanted to control that one. Go back here, and now it's been reassigned. And what I'm going to do is get rid of this group. I'm going to assign this one first. I'm going to right click, and now I'll go into the effects page again, and I'm going to go more. And I want to have this one control width. So let's go back here now. And let's manage the groups. So I'm going to right click on this phaser button. And the right click menu gives you access to all the commands you're going to need. I'm going to go delete rightmost group. So now it's gotten rid of the echo one and it's reassigned this phaser one. So now I've got my own little custom control group to control these phaser parameters. I think I want to change this to a bipolar knob. Let me right click on it and the type of control it is will be grayed out. This is a unipolar knob, but I can change the others now to either an on off button or to a bipolar knob. So let's switch it there. And now it'll be bipolar where zero is at the detente 12 o'clock value. I'm going to command click on it and then it'll snap it to the default position. And that's control click on windows rather than a unipolar knob where the zero value is all the way to the left. So I can control it this way now. So there you go. That's how you customize the controls. And when you save your patch, they'll be saved with the patch or with the multi. And you can get whatever controls you need accessed here for easy, quick access on this one page. And you're not limited to the effects section in the edit window. We haven't looked at this yet, but any of these parameters pertaining to the FM or the voice multiplier or the filter controls, 
They can all be assigned to individual custom control groups here on the main page. See you for more in the next video.